to another edition of Pitch Brand Talk. I'm very happy to have with me today Aloka Rea. He's the Chief Marketing Officer at Equentis Wealth Advisory. Equentis Health Wealth Advisory is an online equity advisory company. Alok, welcome to Pitch Brand Talk. Thank you. Alok, I just want to start off with the brand revamp, which you recently done in uh, April, where the name has changed from Research and Ranking to Equentis Research and Ranking. So what was the purpose of this and, you know, the objective of this move? Okay, so, um, you know, Research and Ranking uh, has have a good journey so far. I think the last 10 years uh, were very, very encouraging for us as a business. And research and ranking actually became a household name uh, with over a million registered people and with over 40,000 customers that we have. People started to associate with research and ranking in a way that they could trust research and ranking for the recommendations or for the portfolio services that we offered. However, uh, you know, we as a business felt that while we are expanding both horizont horizontally and vertically, you know, there was a need that we establish uh, our brand positioning uh, in a very, very strong manner. So we went back to the drawing board. Uh, you know, we discussed, we deliberated that, you know, ultimately if an equity advisory company like ours, we stand uh, for making trusted relationships with our customers. What should be our purpose for existence? And then we essentially, uh, you know, bummed up with this thought that you know we actually stand for equal existence so equentis which was our holding company uh you know it actually means equal existence eq stands for equal and entis uh is is standing for existence so we believe that wealth creation uh you know should be actually a fundamental right uh you know and not be restricted to a select few specifically when it comes to the equity markets i think india uh being an exceptional uh growth story uh we firmly believe that, you know, the participation in the markets has to increase many fold. And hence, uh, you know, the, the equentis thought of equal existence came into power. And we are ensuring that our business, while we add more business verticals, starting from private wealth, uh, starting from, you know, going forward to AIF, PMS, etc. We want to ensure that there is a holistic uh, brand essence, which is equal existence, through and through these uh, brands that we offer. Uh, so how have you gone about, uh, you know, creating awareness about this change? No, I think uh, uh, what, what we started off with uh, is actually announcing uh, about, uh, you know, the rebranding and our uh, existing customers really, really appreciated the whole idea of our reinforced uh, brand positioning with a bull at the center considering uh, like i said you know we are very very uh, positive about the india growth story uh, in the next 10 15 years i think it's it's highly indexing on all parameters that we could consider um our customers took it very very positively uh, they really found uh, that okay the purpose of equentis uh, and the rebranding from research and ranking you know ensures that you know there is an umbrella uh, sort of a brand which holds all the offerings of uh, equentis together uh, our registered base of uh, almost a million plus uh, also, uh, you know, showed us very, very positive signs. Uh, you know, when we did the soft launch across, you know, uh, email campaigns, across WhatsApp, across SMS, across OBD, we, we saw a lot of positivity, you know, in terms of our rates, in terms of our click rates. Those were very, very motivating. And of course, when we, uh, you know, expanded this launch uh, into mass media, uh, you know, across digital, we are uh, we are digital first company. So you know, Facebook, Google, you know, we were all over there. Um, definitely, you know, some bit of uh, I would say queries also were there, which uh, people asked us that why is this change happening and what essentially changes for a customer. But uh, there's nothing as such that changes uh, for the customer. I mean, if at all anything happens, is that the overall experience gets better. Right. Uh, with a cohesive brand identity, cohesive brand positioning. I think today people are far more conscious of associating, you know, with purpose driven brands. And like I said, with equal existence at our core, uh, I think this rebranding has been very, very motiv motivating for us. Uh, now, when you talk about financial services like yourself, you know, A is there's always the in uh, money is involved. Trust is a very important factor, but one of the bigger challenges is it's always seen as a complex product 
and uh, you know the 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 average user or the current consumer feels that the product is very complicated or they cannot understand so a two part question would be how do you what are the challenges and how do you solve them when it comes to communication and telling them that you know this is the product and it should be with ease of communication no i think it's a, a good question i'll just uh, pick up from a word that you used trust right um we we keep saying and we keep telling this to everyone uh, across our customers our registered base that we are essentially in the business of creating trusted relationships right uh, wealth creation happens later right we are not selling a product or a service which is uh, you know which you can experience immediately right if you buy a product on you know say example on amazon today you pay for it and the product is delivered you know you can consume the product whereas in our case it's a it's a long drawn promise right it's a long drawn trust where we tell people that okay this is your risk appetite this is your life goals we will essentially make a customized portfolio of 20 to 25 high growth stocks just for you which is tailor made and uh, you know across uh, you know our customer segments uh, we find that there is a lot of uh, uh, i would say um, i'll not say confusion but uh, anxiety around the markets so when you said that people are scared uh, yes people are scared to lose money uh, yes people are scared that you know uh, someone will not be uh, uh, you know handling their money well and that's precisely uh, where equentis comes into picture uh, you know our research team which has uh, over 20 years of you know experience in the markets our highly pedigreed analysts who essentially not only study the market uh, you know uh, sitting at the desk but also ensure that out there in the market speaking to the management at the plants at the factories or the companies that we recommend right so uh, i think the first part of your question uh, i would want to answer in a way that it starts from you know starting a trusted relationship first making the potential customer or anyone who's interested to know more about markets comfortable right we also have a, a, a you know edtech uh, uh, platform called informed investor which is a big big investment and we're ramping it up in a big way wherein the only intent is to ensure that we educate people educate people in a way that they can take informed decisions uh, about their you know about their money about <clears throat> their financial well being now the second part of your question how do we communicate this uh, uh, like i said everything you know the you know stems from uh, uh, you know the building trusted relationships so anything and everything that we communicate uh, does not only tell us what markets could do to their money but also uh, tell us that why are you know they in the best hands when they associate with equentis and that's precisely the trust that we have gained over the last 10 years like i said with over 40000 uh, subscribed customers today uh, we really take a lot of pride in saying that we have been able to establish that trust establish that name in the market of being uh, not only a, a, a i would say pedigree research company but also uh, you know an organization which takes a lot of pride in making sure that our boardroom uh, discuss you know discussions are more about clients money and clients top line rather than our top line so all our communications are centered around uh, how can we make uh, you know the life of our customer easier how can we handhold the customer in his journey or uh, sorry in his or her journey uh, towards long term wealth creation Alok, when it comes to a product like yours, you offer a customized solution to a customized uh, portfolio for your clients. And so basically what I'm talking about is personalization and customer centricity. So when a person visits you for the first time, how do you ensure that your customer has a seamless experience when it comes to interacting with you? Yeah, um, I think, uh, again, uh, like I said, the core is to build a trusted relationship so for the very first uh, you know interaction with the customer may it be you know he or she coming to our website may it be he or she interacting with one of our ads uh, across the digital ecosystem we first try and tell you know what's the best thing that could happen to a customer through us right it's not just about selling the product or service or subscription at the first go first making the customer you know bringing the customer at ease saying that listen we know we understand that you are in this anxious zone of uh, you know you uh, uh, of evaluating more like us of creating long term wealth but you're not sure like i mean we know that over 95% of people uh, in india or rather our customers also are actually scared to lose their hard earned money and when it comes to markets right stock markets in india have had a perception of 
you know uh, being compared to gambling being compared to you know uh, quick money or you know uh, a game to sort of you know put in money and uh, pull out some quick bucks but you know the first task at hand for us uh, wherein we uh, you know take a lot of pride again is to first ease the customer and say that listen we understand you right if you see our website you know we actually uh, tell us how has the journey of the stocks been uh, in terms of not only our recommendations but the overall ecosystem that how if you are invested for the long term you know you could actually create long term wealth you know i mean you know something becoming uh, you know 10% more or 20% more is actually not wealth creation and that's not our philosophy so when we talk to the customer in a way that uh, you know we could start from the basics the customer feels uh, you know much more less anxious um and you know he or she is comfortable that okay i am in the right hands um when it comes to communicating this across channels uh, you know we primarily use uh, you know email marketing uh, for our retention whatsapp uh, conversational commerce in a big big manner so all the touch points are streamlined uh, in a way that you know the communication is consistent uh, you know in all the places so we just not try and sell our service but uh, you know first uh, you know pacify the customer down or the potential customer down in 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 various means uh, you know let them you know experience us let them speak to our uh, wealth counselors who give them a lot of comfort who understand their goals who understand their objectives of entering the market and once the customer is sort of uh, you know uh, feels home once the once the customer feels that okay i'm speaking to the right people then only we start uh, you know with the uh, with what we have to offer because like i said ultimately you know our boardroom discussions are more about the customers money right ultimately if they don't make money we, they will not subscribe with us and we would we won't be able to uh, survive now uh, how do you if you were to tell your customer why, why do they need an advisor what would you say Uh, i think a brilliant question uh, in fact uh, you know our latest campaign was uh, called as advisor zaruri hai okay uh, no why an advisor okay let me ask you a question uh, simran um, when you have to take who do you go to the dentist you will go to the dentist when you have uh, maybe a stomach ache who will you go to the gp yes general so, physician yeah absolutely the gp i mean touch wood god forbid uh, if you say example break your finger who will you go to an orthopedic absolutely so the answer is with you you know today for all our needs we go to specialists people who are domain specialists who understand that okay if your finger is broken how to fix it imagine if you were to go to a youtube channel and find out how to put a plaster on your finger would you do that do that you will not do that and good i mean uh, i quite like the fact that you are you know smiling also but the point is that we often take our money uh, you know for granted our hard earned money we you know i meet so many people uh, you know throughout the day who tell me that listen i bought this stock i said who told you to buy this stock or where did you experience it that this company was growing or you know your money will grow they said my friend messaged me on whatsapp you know the other guy tells me i saw it on a youtube uh, channel the other guy tells me there's this instagram uh, fin influencer you know whom i follow and he was recommending now the answer to your question that why an expert is that picking up stocks or making a portfolio is very very scientific it requires a particular skill set it requires a particular domain expertise it requires a particular time of experience in the markets where you can understand all the parameters and i'm not talking about the technical parameters of charts and candles and this and that which essentially half of the india today says that they know how to do technical analysis we are we are completely completely against that philosophy of short term you know uh, putting in money and putting out putting pulling out some more money uh, you know that other day other day from the market an expert is required or an advisor is required so that he or she can guide you you know in this long term journey we call it a journey because we believe that there is only one way to invest and that is long term if someone tells you that you can make some quick money from the stock market they are lying and i am i want to put this in record if someone tells you that listen you know in short term you can be rich through the stock market they are lying through their teeth the truth of the matter is that they the only way to invest is long term uh, i mean we've all been hearing warren buffet of the world and 
you know, a lot of investors that we follow. But ultimately, when it comes to our own money, we are always very, very, very anxious. We are impatient. An expert's job or an advisor's job is not only to make you less anxious, but to give you a structured approach. An advisor like us, you know, we will first understand you inside out. We will un understand what are your life goals. We will understand what is your life stage. We will understand what are your objectives, right? You will say, example, you can tell us that, you know, Alok, I want to buy a second home in Bombay in the next five years. Then we exactly know that, okay, in, a bom in Bombay, you know, if you're looking to buy a home, there is a particular corpus that you will need in five years. Now, to build that particular corpus in five years, your money needs to grow at a certain rate. That certain rate will establish your risk appetite, right? Once your risk appetite is established, hence we make a customized portfolio basis your needs and basis your risk appetite, which is customized. And this is a very, very scientific process. And hence, Sebi also says that if you are you know, ensuring that you are trusting people with your money, you better be trusting the best. Don't get fooled by, you know, these YouTube channels or WhatsApp forwards with your money, at least. I think we spend our lifetime saving. We spend, you know, uh, you know, a lot of time, energy, you know, in ensuring that we take the best decisions. But when it comes to our financial well-being, I think there is a lot to be done. In fact, if you ask me, investment advisory as a category today does not exist. And hence, we as Equentis, we want to build this category, not only, you know, just build, but to own this category as a thought leader, which by God's grace, we've been doing since the last 10 years. So in the next couple of months, you will see a lot of action when we launch our brand across, you know, the mainline uh, media on TV, on print, on outdoors, wherein we want to bring this, uh, I would say, paradigm shift in the way the customer thinks of an advisor. Today, nobody feels there is a need of an advisor. But essentially, uh, this category does not exist. Uh, I believe that there's a very small percentage of uh, Indians who actually invest in the stock market. Could you just give me what is the percentage? See, uh, today, uh, I think in India, there are almost, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, around 19 crore DMAT accounts, right? Of these 18, 19 crore DMAT accounts, uh, uh, you know, our assumption is that almost... Uh, 70% 70, 70 would be unique. When I say unique, a lot of people have multiple DMAT accounts. Say, for instance, okay. have a DMAT account in Zerotha, Upstocks, etc. Cetera, et cetera. I might have two, three DMAT accounts. Of that 70% unique, uh, another 50% uh, or maybe 60% is active. So roughly about, uh, we are talking about a number of five, five and a half crore active DMAT accounts, right? Also, uh, this number uh, is also, uh, you know, the same number for active mutual fund portfolios. You know, okay. today, there are roughly about 5 crore actual uh, active mutual fund portfolios. These are people who essentially, uh, you know, do not understand the intricacies of the market or maybe do not understand the process of how to invest in direct equities. So we are talking about net net this whole ecosystem of five crore uh, active mutual fund portfolio holders or active DMAT account holders who are essentially, uh, you know, the people out there who, who should, you know, definitely have an advisor. And we believe that if not Equentis, you know, they should have any other pedigreed or, you know, I would say, um, research, you know, research, paid, uh, research based advisor, but Definitely, they should have an advisor so that, you know, they can be understood, their financial needs could be understood and it's a scientific approach rather than just hitting a dart in the air. Now, just coming to your ad spends, can you give me an idea of how, what is your ad spends currently and uh, are you looking to up the ad spends? Um, definitely. So I'll not be able to quote uh, a number here, but uh, definitely we are uh, one of the biggest spenders in the category. Uh, like I said, we are a digital first company. Um, so all our spend, almost 95% of them uh, are um, on running digital ads uh, across Facebook, across Google, across uh, various other publishers. So uh, uh, we are almost ramping up by, uh, if not less, at least, uh, you know, 50%, uh, you know, quarter on quarter basis, our spends or layouts are increasing because we are ramping up. Uh, mm -hmm. We're also ramping up our physical infrastructure because, uh, uh, you know, uh, for the customers who, who register with us, uh, you know, who show interest that, okay, they are interested in having an advisor. You know, there is a big sales team of wealth counselors that gets in touch with them. 
um, uh, to sort of not only handhold them, but to also ensure that they are, like I said, understood well and offered a customized solution. So, uh, you know, the media spends are definitely going to uh, increase many fold uh, in the next couple of years. Uh, like I said, to build the category first and then to be the category leader in itself is a Herculean task. And we believe that media monies will be, uh, you know, uh, definitely seeing uh, an upsurge, uh, you know, in the next couple of years for sure. Uh, Alok, I just want to also get a sense from you. You mentioned that you have 1 million uh, customers on board. Which is a platform which you believe gives you the best ROI? Is it digital or how does it work? Because you mentioned that you're not, you're still not on television. No, um, so we are a digital first company, like I said. Uh, talking about the platforms, uh, our spends are almost equally split across Google and Facebook. Uh, in terms of ROI, I think both the platforms uh, are equally contributing. I mean, in certain months, the cost of acquisition is lower on one platform on certain months uh, you know it might be higher but uh, you know both the platforms have different roles to play right so google is more of a pull medium uh, and facebook is more of a push uh, narrative uh, so we ensure that our storytelling across both the platforms is uh, both efficient and effective i mean uh, from a roi perspective it's not just limited to calculating the cost of acquisition through Facebook and Google, but looking at the overall lifetime value of the customer, right? So once the customer is onboarded with us, there is a lot of engagement that happens uh, across channels, including email, including WhatsApp, including outbound calling, etc. So all of the channels cohesively come together to make uh, you know, a seamless one consumer uh, journey, like we call it. Uh, that, that consumer journey is weaved across these uh, media platforms. And the ROI is calculated uh, holistically. So as of today, I would say uh, our major dependability, uh, or I would say the highest dependability is on Facebook and Google both. Uh, I mean, I'll not say one is more and one is less, but equal, uh, I would say, division of uh, media monies goes to both the platforms. Finally, what are your plans looking ahead? And, you know, you've got a 1 million customer base. For any estimate that you would like to be seeing one year down the line, because you mentioned you'd like to push people, especially even from the mutual funds category into the equity category. So what are your plans looking ahead? I think, like I said, uh, we just uh, we are just at the tip of the iceberg with one, over 1 million registered base. We still feel there is a lot of uh, you know work to be done in the industry and the category. Uh, like I said, the category needs to be built first. Uh, then you have to establish uh, you know, yourself as a category leader. Um, uh, on the numbers front, uh, you know, like I said, over 50 million people today are active uh, in the mutual fund ecosystem. They have, uh, you know, active mutual fund portfolio. So that's the lowest hanging fruit uh, for a company like us, uh, because we know that people who are essentially in the mutual funds, you know, are any which ways, uh, maybe either scared to invest directly in the equities or maybe don't have the know-how. So they need handholding. So from a scale-up perspective, uh, you know, uh, we are looking at, you know, going from a 1 million base to maybe, uh, you know, a 5 million base very, very quickly in the next one or two year itself. You know, uh, from a customer's perspective, we already have around uh, 40,000 plus subscribed users with us. Uh, we plan to take that number to 2 lakh uh, in the next 18 months or so. So they are very, very aggressive plans that we have uh, uh, and category building, category ownership. Uh, building the brand, building the brand positioning very, very strongly will definitely give us that edge over a lot of uh, the unorganized sector that we are operating in. Uh, my final question is, uh, see, like you mentioned, mutual funds. Amphi has played a big role in educating customers because we've seen their ads on television, on sports, and they have played a significant role when it comes to informing people to, in, you know, to... Uh, invest in mutual funds do you believe that uh, you know the industry advisory you know, uh, advisory industry when it comes to equity should also do this or so a uh, regulator is always uh, very very important and uh, we fully mm -hmm. advocate that like amfi uh, you know we also have a regulator at uh, you know at advisory space so sebi is playing a very very critical role here they are ensuring that you know, any unforeseen uh, activities uh, in the market or any, I would say, not so good practices in the market are rightly flagged off. 
they are running a lot of campaigns for investor education and uh, you know investor empowerment they are ensuring that uh, you know regular communication goes out across media channels that how uh, you know the markets could actually be uh, really volatile and how your wealth could be eroded uh, if you do not take the help of a uh, i would say a good advisor uh, expert advisor in that in that manner i mean uh, like amfi i think sebi is playing that pivotal role uh, of ensuring that uh, the investment advisory space is not only regulated but also checked uh, you know time by time i mean so far so that each and every ad that we today push out you know first goes for a sebi approval uh, and only then it hits the market so they are as uh, stringent as it could be we have regular audits both uh, you know informed and unfin- uninformed by sebi uh, just to ensure that you know all our processes uh, are well in place we are ensuring that uh, whatever we communicate to the customer is actually not an over promise it's actually not maybe uh, you know in a way misleading the customer so i think it, it it's playing uh, a brilliant role here and uh, we as a sebi registered investment advisor we take a lot of pride uh, that we are uh, uh, one of the few uh, advisors in india uh, you know with the kind of customer base that we have you know even sebi is aware that you know equentis is one player in the market that is not only following uh, you know the regulations to the t but also ensuring that we do business with a good intent you know we are nowhere you know trying to say that okay if sebi has regulated then this has to be followed like a regulation no that's not our philosophy we ensure that if something comes out you know in the best interest of the customer even before sebi flags it off we are the first ones to pick it up so like i said uh, you know any regulator be it amfi in mutual funds or sebi in equities market uh, is a, is a welcome step and uh, we fully support uh, sebi in all the moves that it takes uh also you know the recent budget uh, you know for a lot of people who are investing their money uh it has not been what it was not uh, what has what the budget was laid out was not as expected because you know the it was increased whether it's long term and short term capital gains uh, capital gains tax has been increased do you see this as a concern for your existing customer and also trying to get a uh, new customer especially you know on board so retention and uh, new customers is this a sort of concern no i i would i would not say it is a concern uh, in fact uh, we are very very positive uh, that you know the new budget that has come out is actually for the well being of the country um i mean uh, long term capital gains have always been there i mean uh, till some years back uh, you know i mean certain percentage moves actually would not matter much in long run if you're looking at uh, you know okay. a bigger investment horizon in the market so i believe today investors are also uh, very very uh, aware of the fact that it's not the taxes that hurt their wealth creation it's the wrong moves that actually hurt their wealth creation so if you ask me business has not seen any 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 inflection uh, because of the budget if at all anything has happened is that we are growing at a much faster speed uh, people are more confident now that okay uh, with the budget coming in and you know india like i said is over indexing on all growth parameters you know the market uh, seems to be bullish and it continues to be bullish i mean volatility is a part of the market right i mean certain days it would it would come down by 500 points or 1000 points but if you have a decadal view right if you have uh, you know a, a 20 years view or a 15 years view you know you will i think these are all cycles of uh, you know the market so if you are really looking at you know a long term uh, uh, horizon if you are really looking at wealth creation then i think these uh, uh, small things are not concerns in fact they are just checkpoints or milestones uh, you know which keep happening and uh, you know i think it's a welcome move hello thank you so much for your time it was a really insightful discussion